Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim Classic video. We are on the Midland Main Line. Good evening driver, press plus T and prepare your cab before we depart 1752 with this all station service to Nottingham. And I thought we would do it on the bit coming to Train Sim World. Um, so yeah, it's going to be good fun. Uh, let's get everything set up, we'll get them off. Uh, it's the evening but I suppose we would probably go for day, it's still quite light. Uh, hopefully the audio is all good as well. We need to get that set up as well. Once we've got this sorted, there you go. Uh, get the intros on as well. Uh, that's already set to Nottingham. So this is yeah Derby to Nottingham. I can't see that. That's annoying. Two Alpha something. It's annoying because if I was on stream, I'd be able to. Be like, What's that head code up there? Oh, I don't know what that is. I'm going to guess it's 2 alpha 5 5. It looks to be the same. Oh, that's not. Oh, actually, what we could do. Let's have a look on here. There we go. 2 alpha 9 5. Um, well, we'll do that. 2 alpha 9 5. Uh, 2 alpha 9 5. And the signal ahead is. See, sometimes at real stations you have like a GSMR sign that will tell you what the signal ahead is. But. It doesn't on here. Uh, 5056. So I'm guessing I'm going to put 056. I think, it means, I think they, you then put the last three digits. So we'll do that. There we go. That goes in. And then it's a canal. There we go. Uh, but yeah, we're in the in the 158. I think we're in the Cummins as well. I didn't actually check what engine we're in, but I think we're in the um, in the Cummins one. Possibly. Someone will be able to work. Someone in the chat will know the sort of proper technical difference between them. Have we not got a guard? Oh, we do. Uh, so we're going to be calling it Spondon, Long Eaton, Attenborough, Beeston, and Nottingham at 18:25. So in about uh, 30 minutes. I think this is Cummins. Could be wrong though. Probably wrong. No, I think this is Cummins. But someone will know, uh, you know, for sure in the chat. The weird horn as well. We're off. Uh, let's make sure the game audio is at a good level. Yeah, it should be alright. As we make our way out of uh, Derby. Definitely to expand because they've got the Hope Valley now, the Hope Valley, and they've got like a Peak Forest one coming soon to the to this route. So I probably should expand it at some point. I'm sort of waiting for a southern section between Leicester and Bedford. I'd be getting that for sure. Because that sort of completes the whole by well, the Midland Main Line uh, from London up to this way. That's the bit I'm waiting for. Leicester to Bedford. Which hopefully at some point we do see. Up to 75. You've got a triple two in there. 100% sure that will be DLC for Trains in World at some point. I mean, how could it not be? How many miles is it as well? And have we got that on? We do now. Uh, it is 15 miles to Nottingham. So it's not actually that far. You know, 15 miles is not a lot. Um, but it still takes about half an hour or so. Yeah, I thought we'd come in this anyway. Uh, give you a little look of. I know I said I was going to do a video on it, and I have. I thought, you know, I thought I'd give you a, a little look of the route um, before it does come out on Train Sim World, which should be fairly soon. So I thought we'd do a nice run in the in the 158. And let's get a screenshot now before it gets too dark. A pause break there, and we'll try and get a nice uh, nice shot of it. Yes, there we go. That's more like it. Let's get that. Boom. As we see past. Not too far to Spondon. There's an AT. Yeah, that's good. I doubt we'll be I doubt we'll get working uh, yeah, I doubt the GSMR will be as functional as it oh not though you got the bag there. I doubt the GSMR will be as functional as what it is on on, on uh 
on here to train sim world but i think it will have some sort of functionality would be awesome if it did have full functionality that would be great Yeah, come out to our first stop of Spondon. Looks like it has a fairly short platform as well. So we shall be careful. Here it is here. And we're coming in quite fast. So we shall pop that down. And yeah, I think this is a Cummins engine actually. I'm pretty certain it is. Bit where I know that she just heard the crossing come down. I feel like we're coming in quite quick. This is quite quick, actually. Although, saying that we should be okay. Should be okay. <laughs> yeah, it will, it will do. It will do. This is Spondon. Oh, you don't even have any door open buttons on here, do you, either? Yeah, I mean, it's on. It's fine. It's fine, alright? It's fine. I sort of forgot how small the platform here was, and I was coming in at about 30. Although, saying that, the stop marker is at the end, so that's fine. And the door's on, so. We'll get an external departure. Oh. Oh, we got HST. This would be a VP185. Oh no, triple two. That is really going for it. Wow, that was going full speed. Barnsley. And off that one goes. That was really going for it. Looks like there might have been something here before as well. That's where the bridge all comes across here. Maybe there was another line on this side. The remnants of an old platform, maybe. Come on, let's get going. We're waiting. 57 we drew out of here, so it should be any second now. Fingers crossed. And then it is after this one, Long Eaton, which is in 5 miles. So quite, I suppose, a long gap, as it's only, what, 13 miles to Nottingham. That's all right. Yeah, we're getting an external departure. If we go in number three. And listen to the Cummins roar. So this is, should, this is how it should sound like on Train Sim World. Should, should do. I'll be quiet. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And there it goes. Cummins power. I'm pretty certain it is Cummins. So it should be how it sounds like on Train Sim World. Because this is a AP product, so... AP usually is correct on the sounds. Nice. And we can go up to 100 miles an hour, although our top speed's 90, so it will be a little bit naughty to go up to 100. Where do you get that? Yeah, I've now got both the Perkins and the Cummins on uh, on Trentsim Classic, uh, but um, I'm also tempted to pick up the 175. As I'm recording this as the Easter Sellers on on the Armstrong Powerhouse store. So I might pick up the 175 as well. Then we can have a bit more Welsh action, which would be good. So we've got another, is that another train in the distance? Yeah, and that is a Turbo Star. So that's another route the Turbo Star could go on, this one. In Train Sim World. So I think uh, cross-country operator Turbo Star. I think on cross-city. 
Uh, although I don't think they actually do stop anywhere apart from New Street. So that'll be the only issue. But I think uh, West Midlands Railway, they do actually do a service from Birmingham New Street to Worcestershire Worcester, Worcester Fourgate Street. Which stops at Bromsgrove. So I suppose they could do a 170 DLC with WMR and if they could get the cross country license with that. Which goes on to this route and the other one goes on to Cross City. Absolutely flying. I want to get a flyby shot, but recently on Train Sim, when we've been getting flyby shots, the alarms have been going off, which means we come to an emergency stop, which isn't fun. Isn't it brilliant? I just hope the Train Sim World version is better. Or at least at the same quality as this. But hopefully better as it's TSW. And the VP185H is still, we have actually done quite a few times on the channel, so feel free to take a look at the Midland Mainline stream we actually did in the HST. Oh, that's weird, what's that there? In the sky. Yeah, we've done quite a bit in that. So feel free to check that out. Still 100 miles an hour for us, although interestingly, it seems to be a different speed for the HST. The HST, I think, was permitted to run at 110. So it seems you do have separate limits. And I think the HST will run services to both Nottingham and Derby. I think primarily Nottingham. Well, they're not too sure on that, actually. Not too far to Long Eater. We don't want to be coming as fast as what we did into the platform at Spondon. So we'll, we'll be careful. get that off I'm trying to sort of find markers to when you know when you're approaching the station I suppose the marker for this station probably these two bridges here the footbridge and then sort of the motorway bridge that'd be the marker to sort of start slowing down for responding as we're coming quite quickly at the moment and the brakes don't seem to particularly be great I mean they're okay I shouldn't really be using full service, but that's all right for now. No, we should be okay. You sort of want to, I suppose, try and avoid using full service. People don't like when you use full service. It's like a garage. It's like, oh, full service. So try not to use full service. But if you have to, do it. Coming a little bit slower into this one, maybe 25. Well, where's the stop marker? That's the sort of most important thing. Probably right at the end again. I think. Is there even a stop? No, there is something there. Okay, right to the end then. Yeah, let's pop that down. This is Long Eaton. <laughs> why is there a HST car stop? Why would, why would the HST stop here? I mean, the HST, so I don't think they have SDO, do they? So, that would be really sort of naughty. Stop any. It says for the... Uh, Triple two. I suppose yeah, triple twos could probably stop here, but a HST. Don't know about that. Look at that though. And this should be where we sort of go on the lesser used bit of triangle track. Uh, so yeah, we'll be coming across here. Well, not really lesser used, but just this bit here. And takes us up towards on sort of the Nottingham spur of the uh, of the journey. 
yeah, so this along, if you see the curse, so this along here, this up here, and this down to Leicester, that's what we're getting on Train Sim World. None of this bit up here towards uh, Matlock or, um, or or Sheffield up the top. Although, we are getting Ambergate, Ambergate to uh, Chinley and Buxton um, on the Peak Forest steam route at some point. And we're off. There's East Midlands Parkway there, or at least below the power station. It's got one of the main architectural spots on the route, the Radcliffe Power Station. I was where I clicked it there, didn't do anything. We've got 15 coming up as well, so it's quite slow around these points. And there's the 15 there. So we should bring that down. But this version of the route is done by Just Trains. Uh, Skyhook Games are doing the version on Train Sim World, which I did find quite surprising. I did think, oh, I did think it would be Just Trains doing this on Train Sim World, but no, uh, Skyhook are doing it. So it'll be interesting to see how it compares. Love that sound though. Let's let's do it again. And the little whoosh as you come off of the. Uh, I'll do it again. Ready? Just, it's great. And I come off of the throttle. You sort of get that whine as it comes down. It's a brilliant sounding train. I did it. I do prefer Cummins over Perkins. They've gone for the better option. So we have now got Attenborough, Beeston, and then uh, Nottingham. So they're all quite close. I mean, Attenborough and Beeston are very close, just over a mile apart. Oh, there we go. EMT has a, has a really nice delivery. Well, I was thinking, if they've got East Midlands trains on Train Sim World and they have the license for East Midlands trains, doesn't that also mean they may also be able to do South West trains? Because I think East Midlands trains is owned by Stagecoach and so is South West trains, and they're very, very similar as well. So yeah, I wonder if we would see a South West trains route anytime soon. I wonder if they'd sort of be able to use the EMT license for SWT. That would be cool. That's the tiniest whistle board. There we go. Tiny. Speed that up. There we go. As we work our way along. It's quite direct. Got straight up really most of the way to uh, Nottingham. Nice little, uh, I suppose almost like a little shuttle service between Nottingham and, and uh, well, between Derby and Nottingham. Sort of half an hour. It's nice. Although I think most of the time they do go past Derby and Nottingham. Probably maybe only rush hour. Let me tell them when I'm in the chat. 
Maybe only in rush a rush hour <clears throat> when they just go between the two. <clears throat> We're coming up to Attenborough. And Beeston, you'll probably see on the distance graph very shortly. As they are close together. So let's slow down a little bit more. Coming in a little bit too quick. There we go. Welcome to Attenborough. Been a little bit cautious. It's a fairly short platform. Try not to use full service. Just, yeah, just try to avoid using full service. Uh, there it is there. So not completely at the end, but near enough. That's quite a cool little... Uh, I don't know what you'd call that. A little car Almost like a wooden carving. Here we are. Where is it? Yeah, that's like it's on. Oh, that is, that is quite cool. Sort of the national rail symbol. There you go. Attenborough's Nature Centre Mini Beast Hotel. And made in the shape of the uh, national rail symbol. That's really cool, actually. Will we see that on the Trains and World version, though? A place for. Sol solitary bees, butterflies, and other things. Another triple two. There it goes, 101. Going to Barnsley. They all go to Barnsley. They love Barnsley. Is it actually going to Barnsley? Or is it just saying that? Let's go to St Pancras. And it gets there at 55 past. So it only has a couple of hours. It's not bad then. We wait again. It's a, it's a weird horn, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it is a weird train, isn't it? I mean, that, it's not the nicest looking train, is it? But in a way, it's sort of like, ooh, 158. I don't know, it's, it's weird, but then it's also nice at the same time. I don't know. They've got the really sort of weird skinny doors as well and I don't know, what does everyone think of the Express Sprinter? Weird design, good design, I don't know. It's sort of weird but then nice. <laughs> There's the interior as well. It will be different interior on TSW, this is like the really default interior. Uh, but that didn't get changed on the enhancement pack. So the interior should be different. So if it's not, that would be worrying. Wait for the buzzer. Hopefully we get that as well. That would actually be... Oh, that's... Oh, that would be nice, actually. I wonder if they've included that. If they have, that is superb. Because there's no door release button on here because the guard does it. So I wonder if on the TSW version there will actually be a guard. If there is, I mean that is that would be fantastic. So you I don't know, press left on the D-pad, the doors open as they would, but then they close at the time you're actually scheduled to leave and you hit the ding ding. That would be the perfect train for it, because yeah, there's no door close button, as it's controlled by the uh, by the guard. Let's go up to base, and it's now oh oh four miles to Nottingham.
put that down. There's another turbo still. There we go. And then coming into Beeston. I'm guessing that's probably how you say it, unless it's Beeston. But Beeston, doubly, probably. Here we are. Probably quite a short platform as well. Is it right to the end? Yeah, it's got to be. Welcome to Beeston. And after this is Nottingham, our final stop. Yeah, nice journey. Uh, I suppose it just gives you a bit of an insight into how it should be on Train Sim World. I mean, AP they're yeah, near, you know, 100% accurate most of the time for sounds and model. Um, and JT, well, they're very good at route building. So both sort of well-renowned, well-respected developers in the Train Sim Classic community for sort of third-party stuff. Be nice to see things like this as well. Because we had that on Cross City, I think, where you could you had things like this, so you know, platform two for those places, platform one for those places. So that would be nice to see. You've even got real ads on here as well. Probably be seeing this, I'd imagine. Oh, what's that say up there? That looks so clear as well, I like that. Midland Counties Railway, severed by Gerald B. Uh, that guy, Vignoles, Beeston Station, opened full for June 1839 and rebuilt in 1847 and refurbished by British Rail in 1988. Nice bit of history there. Timetable's very friendly though, isn't it? Very friendly. I miss the sound of diesel trains. It's down where I am, in, uh, sort of near Brighton. They've sort of got rid of the GWR service down here now. So, just really hardly ever see diesel trains. Well, it's passenger. Here we go. Ready? Oh, why's that going off? Go away. I see, I see, the alarm doesn't like me. Right, hold on. There we go. Nottingham next. And there it goes. And it is only three miles away, so not too far. It says we'll get there at 25, although I'm probably going to get there before unless we have to wait out a red light. Which hopefully we don't. <laughs> although saying that, I think when we did this scenario before, we did have to wait out a red light, so we might have to. Still green though, which is good. Please be no red lights. As we uh, continue our little cross along, little cross trip, cross country trip. Yes, DSD, you want to have some of it. Window opens as well. There you go, you can open that up. Little slidey window. And I think the preview for this will be on Thursday. Um, so I will try and get this video out before Thursday. I don't know what the date is, but something April 14th or something, April 15th. Um, so yeah, I will try and get the video out before that. Although if it's not, how was the preview? <laughs> or if you're watching after the preview. Did the train sound like this? It's 
start popping that down as it seems we will have to wait as we are still quite early. Oh, bringing that down. Got a single yellow. Oh, why do we have to wait? <laughs> Not go straight in. Hopefully it won't be too long. Well, I saying, is that for us, that green? No, that can't be for us, can it? It could actually be. I don't know, is that for us? They bring us down on purpose, maybe. That does look like it is for us, so I don't know what all that red and stuff was on about, but it looks like we're going to be going straight through. Yeah, it is for us. Alright then. Well, that's good. There's the trams there. Cool. And 15 miles an hour into Nottingham. Luckily at the very beginning of the platform though. In we go. A nice little jolly there on the uh, Midland Main Line. Not a speaker body on there. Little play around with the uh, with the uh, GSMR. Oh, you can do that as well. Cool. Also, we're not standing at signal. There's one five six, I think, across there. Pop that down even more. Twenty-five. And down to fifteen. And there you have there you have it, Derby to Nottingham. I doubt we'll do a video from Leicester to Nottingham in the HST as we've done a couple of streams in that, so feel free to have a look at that. Quite a nice station, uh, Nottingham. But an old school one. With the modern footbridge, or modern tram bridge actually. The tram's going over the top. Uh, I don't know, whereabouts does it want us to stop? Okay, on there. Almost at A. Berth B, berth, I guess that's probably A or B. That is B again, I think. Oh, I'll put that into a stop. There we go. Welcome to Nottingham. There we go. Well, that is going to be it, everyone, uh, for today's uh, train simulator video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. That was on the Midland Main Line there by Just Trains. Soon to be coming to Train Sim World very soon. Uh, links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.